Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris Time, and today we're gonna to be installing an oil catch can on the 10th gen Honda Civic. Let's go. Choo. First of all, oil catch cans are not a performance mod. It's more of a maintenance item as it ensures you will have a cleaner intake track free of oil, which results in keeping your engine running better for longer. Cash cans are also legal in all states. So if you're in California, one of the strictest states when it comes to modding your vehicles, if the cops sees this under your hood, then they're not gonna care. Like I said, it's not a performance mod, it's just a maintenance item. Uh, so it's one of the must haves, especially if you have a Civic Type R, it's a high revving car and you know, you wanna keep this engine running for longer. So some would say this is a useless mod, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I don't track my car, but I do daily my car. That's why I have over 21,000 miles on this car because if I see curvy roads, I beat the crap out of this car. 7,500 RPM is music to my ears, especially it's paired with this AEW e exhaust and an intake. So I can hear that turbo spool and the roar of this four cylinder car. I received the box from Mishimoto and inside this box contains an oil catch can for your Honda Civic Type R. First up, we have the clamps that attaches to the tubes. Next, we have the bracket so that it'll hold the catch can itself onto the frame of your car. Next, we have the hoses. Uh, so it's a pretty thick hose that you're gonna be attaching to your oil catch can. And then, of course, we have the catch can itself, which looks pretty nice. So I went ahead and got the black bracket just so that I can keep everything black inside of the engine bay. There's also an option to get the red one, but I didn't want the red one. I just wanted kind of like a subtle look, so I went ahead and got the plain black one. Of course, we have some bolts. Uh, so this is gonna be used to bolt on the, uh, the oil catch can onto your car, which are pretty neat. And then as a bonus, we have a bunch of brochures. It's Mishimoto's brochures. They're basically promoting their stuff because they make aftermarket parts for different cars, not just the Civic Type R. And we have a cool little air freshener with a little penguin, Mishimoto's uh, logo in the middle. I'm gonna take a whiff of this to see if it smells good. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it smells okay. It, I don't know how to describe the smell, but it's not too, too strong. So we're gonna be installing the oil catch can. The tools that we'll be needing is a 10 millimeter socket, a quarter inch drive ratchet, a quarter inch extension, two and a half millimeter Allen key, a needle nose plier, and a flathead screwdriver. Now the first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking off the engine cover. So this basically uses five 10 millimeter um, bolts. So one, two, three, four, and five over here. I'm actually using their video for reference um, because again, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not no pro at this. Um, so this is my first time actually doing an oil catch can installation. So what I'm doing is I'm pretty much just loosening the bolts um, that's on the engine cover. Trying not to hit my laptop. Once they're all loosened, I am then gonna cheat because these are pretty long bolts. I'm gonna take these out. One, not two. They're all pretty much out. I'm gonna put this aside. So the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm actually gonna be loosening this wire harness right here. Um, so it's just a clip that's just right there. I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver. The clip, you just press down to release and pull up. There you go. So now that we pop this up, we can now move this around a little bit so you see how this is like underneath this plastic just slide it out of the way and just put it on top like that you don't have to completely remove this uh, because the only thing that we're going to be doing is going to get a hose which is right under here this is where um, you're going to find this hose that i'm talking about there's a clamp right there which I'm gonna be taking off. 
if you're looking straight down, it's literally just this hose right here. The one that says VTech or YTech, I mean. Okay, got the clamp off. I need, oh shit, okay, that's good. It slid down, but it's fine because we are gonna have to take this off as well. Get that, I got it. I'm gonna remove it. We got that hose. Then, just pull that. Okay, and then pull this. Now, I've heard that it's gonna be a little bit tough to pull this line right here, this hose. Just have a little bit of patience and just wiggle it around, I guess. Oh, okay. There you go. We got one hose down. Set that to the side. Ooh, that hurt. It's a good thing I'm wearing gloves. Next, we're gonna go right here. It's a 10 millimeter. So get your little socket wrench with a 10 millimeter attachment and just unbolt this. Try not to lose it. I'm gonna put it right here for now. And there's another one right down there. So just get that as well. And you can start seeing the bracket coming off. Again, try not to drop this because it's gonna be a pain to get this. All right, we got the bracket off. Set this up here. This is our fuel line, which we're gonna want to unmount. Um, well, it's mounted on right here. So just simply pull off just like this, it just comes off like that. So this actually just goes down, okay? And then we are to reposition this. So you can just go like this because we have to set this off to the side because we need to get to a bolt that's right there. Uh, you guys can see. All right, so it's literally, there's a 10 millimeter, two of them, one and two that we have to take off. Uh, so this is behind the bracket and the fuel line. Got it. Oh, okay. All right, take this off. Oh man, put that off to the side. You're gonna be putting the catch cam bracket right behind the fuel line mount and we're gonna be connecting it back onto the frame. And I find the easiest way to do it is if you were to just stick the bolts in so this will stay in place just like that. Again, make sure, um, just try not to drop these bolts in your engine bay because like I said, it's gonna be a complete pain trying to get these off. And then I'm gonna be installing it Right here, except again, this fuel line's kind of in the way, so we're just gonna try to get it out of the way. All right, I got one in, and I'm just gonna hand tighten this so that it'll stay in place. Okay, so it's kind of, I hand tightened it in place. I'm gonna get the other screw or the other bolt, and then I'm gonna put that on as well. Can't really see. Okay. Get this fuel line out of the way. Ugh. This is by far the hardest part of the whole installation, is just 
trying to get this in. But it's such an awkward angle. All right, I got the hard part done. So now that we've done that, um, we can put the fuel line back on. So just, I think it was in between like that. And then it goes in here like this. Just clip that in there. Put this in there, there you go. Cool. Next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting this bracket on. I just realized I installed this bracket backwards. So this is supposed to be facing the other way instead of this way. I knew something looked wrong when I was reinstalling this, but yeah, uh, yeah I'm going to have to flip this around. So now it's time to work on our catch can. So we have our catch can right here and we have these two little um, nozzle things so we are actually going to be putting this on in here like this and they're both pretty much the same so this goes in like that so lo now it looks like this okay you're then gonna grab your hoses okay now there is a little picture right here which tells us to use the larger clamp um, where the catch can is, and then the smaller can clamp goes down there. And you can also see on the hose, it says CC out. So this is where I put the larger clamp, and obviously down here is where the smaller clamp's gonna go. And then on our other hose, CC in tells us to use the larger clamp. So that's what we're gonna be doing, CC in, Gonna put that in like that. And then on the smaller side, get the smaller clamp, squeeze that together, put it in like so. Okay. All right, so now that we got our clamps on the hoses, it is now time to install the catch can itself onto the bracket. Now the screws, there's three screws um, that's already on top of the catch can. So you're gonna need an Allen key to take off these screws because these screws are what you're gonna use to mount uh, the catch can onto the mount. Going back over here, um, you're gonna grab your bigger hose first. So it's this one, okay? This one is basically gonna connect right there where we took off the hose earlier. Uh, so it's just gonna go like that. And then this connects to the catch can. So you're gonna to wanna to do that first. I'm gonna slide this all the way down so I won't have a hard time. Just like that. And then we're gonna be attaching this. Can't really see. Okay. All right. Woo! Next up. Grab the other tube, or the other hose rather. Um, so this one, this attaches over here where we pulled out the hose earlier. So what we're gonna do is we're simply. All right, so all my cameras are dead. So we got one camera, two, and my GoPro that was attached to my head. Uh, so all of them died. So what I basically did was I screwed them on all three of the bolts. Uh, now, the only thing left to do, since these are already attached to wherever they need to be attached, um, all I gotta do now is put them in like this. Just 
stick them in just like that. There you go, and then clamp them on. You get it. Okay, so installation complete. So as you can see right there, the whole thing is installed. I like how it has the Mishimoto's logo on top. Uh, it says right there, push the limits, Mishimoto, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it matches the whole entire thing. Now, if I did get the red one, it'll stand out more. Um, but yeah, the only thing that changed underneath the hood is now that I have a catch can right there. Um, but I mean, that was a pretty easy install. I guess the hardest part of the whole install was installing the catch cam bracket itself. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. But yeah, like I said, it's like it's not even there. And the only thing is that part right there. It's no longer empty. Anyways, I'll make a follow-up video on when I'm gonna be changing my oil, uh, just so that we can take a look inside of the oil catch can, if it caught anything. That way we can see what exactly this oil catch can caught and if it was useful uh, installing on this car. And I hope that this installation was easier uh, for you guys. I tried to get all the camera angles uh, so that I can make it easier for you. Uh, if you do like this video, be sure to hit that like button and comment down below what you guys think of this video. Or if you have any future suggestions on what kind of videos that I should be making on the channel in the future, comment down below because I want to know. Um, I make Honda Civic content as well as Accord videos. I also do Timu, Amazon, you name it, I review it. Thank you all for watching. This is Chris Time and peace out. <laughs> catch me! Catch me! <laughs>